Good morning, everybody. I hope that your week is off to a fantastic start. I'm going to read a book to you today called A Day in the Salt Marsh by Kevin Kurtz, illustrated by Conzie Powell. What I really like about this book is that it takes you through the span of an entire day in a salt marsh so you can see all the changes that happen. Since many of you have been spending extra time outside so in the sunny weather, I thought you might be interested to learn more about the salt marsh. The sun's coming up in the salt marsh and the birds respond with song. If you decide to stay a while, you'll see changes all day long. It's eight o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is really low. The fiddler crabs upon the mud are putting on a show. They wave their claws to the left, then wave them to the right. And if a rival gets too close, the crabs will start to fight. You might notice while I'm reading that this is a rhyming book. So maybe while you're listening to the story, you can pick out some of the rhymes from the story. It's nine o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is coming back. And on the muddy bank, you'll hear a quiet crack. A terrapin is eating while resting on the ground. It bites into a snail shell and makes a popping sound. So a terrapin must be a kind of turtle. It's 10 o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide's now in the grass. The tiny periwinkle snails wait for the tide to pass. Clinging to the blades of grass, they climb without a sound, staying above the rising water to avoid being drowned. It's 11 o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is getting high. Over in the tidal creek, a blue crab skitters by. The blue crab isn't picky. It will eat most any dish. It even eats sea cucumber or a stinky piece of fish. Did anyone see any rhymes on that page? I did, I saw dish and fish. Those both end in that ish sound. It's 12 o'clock in the salt marsh. The tide is rising fast. A gray fin breaks the water as a dolphin swims right past. Look, it's moving quickly. Just like it's in a race, the small fish swim before it as the dolphin gives them chase. It's one o'clock on the salt marsh. The tide is very high. The grass is underwater and yet it doesn't die. The cork grass drinks salt water as the wind blows it about. The leaves hold in the water but spit the salt back out. I didn't know that. I learned something new. It's two o'clock in the salt marsh. A fish, small and tiny, swimming all around the grass with scales so small and shiny. The marsh is like a nursery where little fish can hide. They eat the food that's brought their way with each new rising tide. It's three o'clock in the salt marsh, and on and off all day, running, splashing, swimming, the river otters play. Two pups begin to wrestle, a game of one-on-one. -on -one. At first their mother watches, then joins them in the fun. Look at them, they're so cute. It's four o'clock in the salt marsh, and over by the tidal creek stands a gray and stately bird with a long pointy beak. The great blue heron waits quietly, but when it sees its prey, its beak hits the water and the fish can't get away. Has anyone ever seen one of these before? These are really big birds. The first time I saw one, I thought, oh my goodness, it looks like a pterodactyl. They're really neat looking birds. It's five o'clock in the salt marsh and the water's going down. Over on the muddy bank, a horseshoe crabs aground. It doesn't seem to move at all, yet if you look and smell, 
it's not just the live horseshoe crab, but just the molted shell. It's six o'clock in the salt marsh. The oysters no longer hide. They're out in the sunlight, uncovered by the tide. Oysters hold up the banks so the grass can grow. Grass supports the food web in the daily salt marsh show. Oysters are kind of shell, kind of like clams. The sun's going down in the salt marsh, but the day is almost through. If you're back tomorrow, you'll see other changes too. There's a fun little activity at the end of the book where uh, it kind of quizzes you on the different animals in the salt marsh. That's a neat activity to do. Um, I hope you guys really liked this book. It's one of my favorites because I really like spending time at the beach and looking at the animals on the salt marsh, which is really, really important to our water um, environments. So there we have it. Have a fantastic week, everybody.